Kings members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is July, and uh, apparently, according to Kitgo, and thanks to Donald in New Mexico for sending me this interesting article here in an interview, now is the time to buy gold as negative sentiment is exhausted. This is from Incrementum AG. And Kitco News says that gold looks like an attractive buy at the moment, with investor sentiment reaching the bottom in the marketplace, according to one European fund manager. In a recent interview with Kitco News, uh, Ronald Peter Stouffer, fund manager at asset management firm Incrementum AG and author of last month's latest In God We Trust annual report, said that from a six reward or the from risk reward perspective gold looks extremely attractive he added that he sees several factors that will lead to higher prices by the end of the year and sort of a, a piggybacking on what kind of i've been predicting for a while that i believe that we're going to see prices bullish by the end of the year and uh, he thinks that we've seen the lows in gold for the year uh, so the bottom is we're at the bottom apparently now according to a uh, stole furl his comments come as the gold market has managed to bounce off its 12-month lows and is currently trading below the initial resistance of 1260 an ounce august gold futures were last at 1256.40 an ounce up 0.24 percent the most significant factor driving gold prices higher is falling momentum in the U.S. dollar, said Stolferl, noting that interest in the greenback is starting to wane as the Federal Reserve moves closer to the end of its interest rate hike cycle for the year. We are in the seventh or eighth inning of this rate hike cycle, and people are starting to realize that the Fed doesn't have that much room to move higher, he said. Stouffer added that growing econ uh, global economic uncertainty because of the rising trade tensions could even force U.S. Central Bank to reverse course and loosen monetary policy. And my guess is probably uh, rather than actual reverse course, in other words, lowering interest rates, my guess is first thing will probably uh, decide to do nothing the next meeting. On top of that, the fund manager sees the recent strength and the U.S. dollar is a short squeeze that is almost finished as investors were significantly net shorting the currency at the start of the year. I'm not convinced that the U.S. dollar is in the new uptrend, he said. The Trump administration knows that it needs a weak U.S. dollar for the reindustrialization of the economy. The second factor to drive gold prices higher in the second half of the year is growing volatility in developing and emerging markets, said Star Stouffer. He added that at current prices, gold is an attractive safe haven asset. Everything right now is going to going into equities, and the market looks strong. But below the surface, cracks are starting to show, he said. I think the technical picture of the stock market doesn't look very healthy, especially in emerging markets. Emerging markets are a mess right now. Finally, Stouffer said that despite strong negative sentiment in the gold space, the metal and the sector has held up reasonably well. He noted that while prices are down, gold equities have not seen any major capitulation style type of sell-off. And I'm actually in full agreement with this article. I do believe we are going to see gold go up by the end of the year uh, for the reasons uh, uh, that were mentioned. And I'm also in agreement with it uh regarding to that it's really held up quite well people were predicting uh that gold was going to go and i did posted a video about this earlier in the year that gold was going to go down to possibly eleven hundred hundred dollars an ounce and uh we never got near there uh although some people were fearful as uh, the prices really started to drop and we saw you know these price dips twenty thirty dollars an ounce um, for gold and and typically silver does follow suit but we're seeing falling prices today with a uh, gold silver platinum and palladium all taking uh, some bit of a hit today slightly but it's anyone's uh, guess as to what's going to happen and again some people sort of you know um, <clears throat> kind of 
tell me, you know, they're, they're, you know, they don't really care what is happening from day to day with the precious metals or what people predict. Because, and, and I understand, I do these videos because I think it's kind of fascinating to see what's happening in the markets and what's affecting the gold prices. And as a way to, you know, some people can prepare for some purchases if possible if the prices do go up or down a bit more. But uh, nonetheless, never bank on any of this information or, or opinions of myself or anyone else about where, where gold or silver prices will, will go. Uh, we accumulate the metal, in my opinion. We accumulate it um, whenever we can uh, because we uh, make ourselves independent from the existing system, even though we have to use the existing system and empowers us to hold gold and silver. Really, no matter what its price is, the higher it is, the more empowered we are. But even when the prices go down, I believe we're also empowered because we can accumulate these metals at, at a decent price. The only downfall is for those who need to sell or are ready to sell, uh, those are who are hardcore stackers and the like, that accumulate it as a hedge. Uh, when we do that, well, it's they take they may take a a loss, so to speak. But again, keep in mind that that loss is only due to uh, the where the dollar is at a particular point in time, and it'll never go to zero. And um, and it it does serve its purpose, even though the uh, the dividend apparently or the return on your on your um, a hedge is as at the time of selling when it's low it's not as robust as it, you would have liked it to have been but that's part of what the nature of these precious metals are because in great economic times when the dollar's strong well that's part of the uh, of the deal with gold and silver uh, as an insurance policy sometimes you cash out your insurance policy and uh, sometimes you can take a uh, a cash return on an insurance policy you get a lot, a lot less than what you would if you needed to uh, cash out if you had to actually use it um, so there it is anyways post your thoughts below I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate comment and subscribe <laughs>